Yo, what's up, YouTube? So I'm at the airport right now. I'm at, I'm at uh, MSY for a different reason, actually. I'm not online for Uber and Lyft. I'm actually waiting for a friend that's uh, coming back in, so I can get a call at any any second here. Um, there's uh, something that I want to uh, uh, kind of just go over today, um, <clears throat> along with a little thank you from Uber, um, or for Uber, I should say. Well, both. Um, okay, so uh, last weekend I had a, um, uh, an Uber driver from the ATL from Atlanta in my car, and we were talking about you know airport strategy and how they had this feature that we didn't have out here. Um, uh, so then I get a notification like a couple days later that we're actually getting the feature here in New Orleans too. So this is actually pretty cool. Um, it keeps people from doing shady stuff. Um, so what he told me was is that, uh, you know, I told him I don't wait at the airport because sometimes you can get uh, these, these uh, you know, five or six dollar fares because you, you wait for an hour and they, you get one of these five or six dollar fares just going to one of these hotels right around here. Um, and then you go back to the airport, wait for another hour and you get what, if you're, if you're lucky, you get another, you know, twenty dollar, twenty something dollar trip. Um, so, um, now if you get one, if it detects, if you're in the queue for 15 minutes, it has to be a minimum of 15 minutes, and, um, you get one of those bogus five or six dollar rides, um, if it detects you get a short trip after waiting at least 15 minutes at the airport, it'll put you back first in line when you get back to the airport, uh, in the queue. So, um, a lot of markets, I'm just... It might already have this feature. I'm just saying that uh, we didn't have it here before, but now we're going to have it. Um, the ATL driver was explaining to me that uh, what a lot of drivers use this for is they go back to the airport and they wait for it to surge. And then they go back online. It puts them first in line, but you're kind of shooting yourselves in the foot with that um, because... Uh, you know, it's like every you're going to have 30 drivers that wait to go back online, wait until it surges, go back online. It's not going to surge anymore. Maybe luckily one person, two people might get a surge trip. Um, just because people have their phones out and they're, res they're, requ they're uh, getting their quote doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to call for the ride. You got to understand that, you know, sometimes I'm, you know, I'm looking at my screen. It's a freaking four, four you know, three, four times surge, I'm like, give me a fucking ride, what the hell, you know, I'm screaming at my phone, I'm like, give me a ride, or I'm at the airport and it's surging, I'm like, come on, baby, give me one, give me one, come on, come on, give me one, you know, I don't know if y'all can relate to that, but, <laughs> uh, I guess it's kind of funny, um, so yeah, so this beats the old method, and the old method, a couple videos ago, I mentioned that there was an old method, I guess there were too many adjusted fares, but what you would do is when you got one of these uh, five, six dollar hotel trips around the airport, um, it, you know, you just don't end the trip, and then you go back to the airport, which is like, what, a mile? Less, less than that. Go back to the airport, get in the queue, and then end the trip, and it'll put you back first in line. Well, we don't have to do that anymore, you know? Like I said, I guess there was just too many um, adjusted fares with, with Uber. So it's kind of a cool feature, you know, it, I still think it's bogus that, you know, Uber gave themselves a raise in Louisiana, my market, in Florida, and, um, you know, it's, you're taking as, as much as 80% of the fare, um, I think, that, and not giving us anything more, I think that's bogus. They have been trying to do better with, like, boosts, 1.4, 1.7, 1.8, but there's so many cars in those boost zones, that, it's, it's a very small city, you know, it's the smallest of all the big cities in the U.S. So, like, the zones that we have are actually not very big zones, um, you know, in, in a scale comparison to another major city. Um, so you, what you have is a thousand cars all around you, and you're not getting one of these boost rides. Um, it happens, I've actually seen it on Facebook a couple of times where people are posting like, dude, I've been online for an hour and made six bucks, what's going on? You know, are you guys having this problem? It's like, yeah, it's because of saturation. Another thing you can do, uh, when I drive during the day, there's a lot of drivers in, during the day out here. Another thing you can do is open up your Uber Passenger app 
and see where all the cars are and just get away from them. Spread out. Spread out, people. That'll also take away those, you know, when you have to go drive, you know, 15 minutes to go pick somebody up, it'll take away that too. Spread out. A 1.4 is not worth it if you're sitting around, driving around for an hour with a thousand cars around you, you're not going to get a ride. Um, that, and they've been doing other things too, like bonuses, where if you do 17 rides, you'll get an extra 30 bucks. I mean, okay, you know, I think they're trying to make up for this, you know, not giving us a raise type deal. Uh, still think it's bogus though, you know, but that's just me. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to say thank you for this, uh, this new feature. So, um, yeah, I think that's it. I still have that rental program video coming. Maybe I'll work on that now until I'm waiting for my friend to call me. Um, she's landing, uh, I don't know. I don't even know when, but, yeah, um, I'm paying attention to flymsy.com. Looks like it's arriving any second, so... Um, but I think that's it. That's all I wanted to go over today. Just a short video. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, deuces.